welcome to uh, Path of Exile. Uh, this is Eki here. Uh, I'm just going to be playing for about 15-20 minutes maybe, uh, just to give people an idea of what the game's like. Uh, I'm just kind of talking about some stuff here. Still breathing, eh? Um, a pretty impressive game so far. kind of feels like what Diablo 3 should have been. Um, and uh, so right now I'm just kind of selling some stuff to the vendor here. Um, and there's no real concept of currency, so they're just kind of giving me these uh, pieces that I can use for um, consumables later. And I had something in my inventory that looked kind of interesting. This little amethyst flask here, so I'm going to inspect it. And... Oh, uh, looks like some kind of potion, buff potion. Um, it's kind of cool, but not really that useful. There you go. So I'm gonna sell it. Stay out of the shadows. They buy. And so now that I got that finished, I'm gonna check out what quests I got, uh, and I think I'm gonna do this sever the right hand. So I gotta go to uh, this area over here. So I'm gonna uh, take the waypoint to the battlefront. kind of wade my through way through a bunch of monsters to probably get to the other area there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty similar to, um, you know, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, uh, where it's the bird's eye view kind of perspective. Um, can zoom in pretty close, uh, but I usually kind of have it zoomed out a little bit. That's about as far as you can zoom out. Um, you can press tab to bring up the little overhead map there. Uh, but so my character is a witch, and I s spend most of my time basically making undead creatures like skeletons and zombies and stuff, uh, and shooting fireballs and raining fire upon people. Uh, looks like this guy's like a special dude. He's gonna almost just killed me there. Um, but I'm gonna. S it's a little bit difficult because I don't have a uh, zombies to kind of absorb some damage for me. So I'm trying to make some skeletons here. Gonna take out this mage. Now that the mage is dead, I'm gonna um, raise a minion. So basically, I get kind of like a clone of the mage, but it does a lot less damage and stuff. Uh, can make a zombie there. Some more zombies off these dead bodies here. Let's be shooting electricity. Just gonna run some fire on this guy. Uh, my zombies are definitely much more effective than the little flimsy skeletons. Uh, but the skeletons definitely help too. So I'm gonna try and keep my count of zombies to four at pretty much all times. These guys are really so the electricity does a lot of damage. Uh, I think it kind of compounds the amount of damage you're taking, so like electricity kind of debuffs you to take more damage from pretty much everything else. You know, die. So yeah, this is a um, pretty tough game, um, but it's challenging enough to where. If you die, it's not too bad. I think some of the higher difficulty levels will actually take away experience and stuff from you if you die. Uh, so, on the normal difficulty, um, nothing really happens when you die. Other than you just gotta, you know, run all the way back to where you were. But, so these guys are pretty tough. I'm gonna try and stay away from all this electricity. And when I died, I lost all of my uh, zombies and all my skeletons and stuff, so... Wow. Jeez, okay. I gotta be real careful about that. Um, my witch doesn't have a lot of health, so without my kind of... Uh, body shield of zombies and skeletons and shit, I, bit, I die real quick, so... It's kind of important to try and uh, get some mobs out kind of earlier on. But 
we'll just run on back. Run on back there. Oh, I'm already back. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay away from this guy a little better this time. Uh, cause I got a lot of range with those fireballs, so I'm gonna just hang back a little bit more. Um, uh, try not, try not to get shocked. And I'm gonna make the zombies here. A bunch of dead bodies around. explore up this way. Okay, kill some of these mages here. We've got a full rain of zombies, so I'm doing good on that front. Can make a specter there. So yeah, this gets a, a lot a lot easier once I kinda of full. I no longer need fear. Sweet. Destiny up to uh, level 30, so. Um, so I got a new skill point. So let's go use some skill points here. So this is the other part of the game that's really interesting. Is, uh, the skill tree is just huge. Um, let's take a look at in a sec. Let's look at these guys here. Because um, while you're looking at your skill tree, the game doesn't pause, so you're kind of... It's kind of dangerous to be looking at it. Looks like two of my zombies died, so I'm gonna make them back here. And keep on going. Oh, I'll, I'll get this skill point once I kill these guys here. And that looks good. So, um, like I was saying, the the skill tree here is just immense. I mean, it's just absolutely gigantic. Uh, theoretically, you could um, start branching. Oh, strike on spells, uh, and the exploding minions. I kind of went, like, all the way around here, it's, um, but I'm thinking about maybe going into this area effect here, you can do, uh, more fire damage, uh, but what ended up happening is I totally missed these, um, really early in this skill tree, you can have those 15%, um, critical chances here, uh, so I'm gonna grab those. So the 15% should stack with my 60%, so I should be critting a lot. Uh, but, not really sure how to notice whether or not you do a critical strike with a spell. Because uh, it kind of kind of looks, they all look the same to me at this point. So I'm going to try and kill these weird looking flag things. in a video game. So it was the first time for everything. Uh -oh. so it's some kind of lightning attack. 
attack at me. Um, I'd have to use one of my health pots, but not a big deal, not a big deal at all. So let's see what this way is. Solaris Temple. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go there either. Nope, Solaris Temple is the wrong way. Um, so let's keep looking. I need to go all the way to the bottom left corner. Might be where my door is, so I'm gonna kinda start heading a little southwest here. Uh, let's see if I can. It looks like I get trapped by the wall, so I'm gonna go down these steps. I'm kinda just ignoring some of the mobs here to try and get through this area. Uh, but sometimes it's a bad idea to get too deep in there, so I'm gonna start killing these guys. That looks like a rare mob, which is probably going to kick my ass. I'm just going to try and kite them around here. So we got this protection from the wall. Looks like I can't cast through them. I'm going to start kind of AEing these guys and making some more zombies. Sometimes you can run past mobs, but uh, sometimes it's also a bad idea to do so. like the game isn't going to let me skip ahead. I need to get, um, looks like I'm kind of stuck here. Let's, uh, 
I can't join the group because they're in a different quest state than I am. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna have to return this ribbon spool here in order to continue. Uh, but so that's a good, you know, 15 minute intro uh, to kind of what a 30 level, or level 30 witch looks like uh, and what she can do. Um, so I'm going to cut it right here, but uh, this is Path of Exile. I'm Eki. Uh, hope you like watching it, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.